He is our baby doll South Down sheep. These guys are originally from England. There are several different types of sheep. And the reason I have them sitting like this is this happens to be the easiest way to actually shear them. You gotta start with the belly, and you can also do their hoof trimming this way because they don't seem to move around a whole lot. We trim their hooves about twice a year. It's pretty easy for them. They are able to climb and actually rough them down and file them down on their own. So there's two types of sheep. You have our fibered sheep, like what Rodney is here. So they grow out their hair, and here in Florida, because it is warm, we do shear them twice a year, once in the spring, and once around the end of the summertime to keep them nice and cool. Um, in cooler climates, they would actually leave them the whole year, so they have all this nice fleece to actually insulate them against winter temperatures. Now, these guys are ruminants, which means their stomach is made up of several compartments. Because of what they eat is super hard to digest the nutrition from, they have different types. They eat a lot of different types of plants, and all those plants hold their nutrition in from cellulose. So what they do is as they go ahead and they eat and they graze, it goes into their first stomach that actually ferments and breaks apart that cellulose wall so they can absorb all the nutrition from it. Now ruminants in general do not have any top teeth. They only have bottom teeth. The top is more like a palate. And they use those bottom teeth to cut grass. So you can get, you probably see his bottom teeth maybe right there. But no top teeth from it. Right now he's trying to get to this yummy candy right here. All it is is corn and grass pellets, but it's something different than he's been eating all day. These guys are one of the smaller breeds of sheep, so they make actually really good pets. They're super friendly. Now, when you're talking about sheep, you've obviously seen sheep with big horns. Um, these guys don't have horns, and what that's called is being pulled. So it's a genetic, a genetic trait that they actually don't have horns at all. They still have that hard bony plate on their head, so they're able to ram one another. Males are the only ones that do this. Females don't typically ram. Give them some treats right there. They're good. Now these guys are much more like goats than other types of sheep. They actually browse a lot more, which means they're gonna consume different things. They aren't gonna put their head to the ground and just graze. They will eat the grasses, but they prefer to eat a lot of different leaves and weeds and different stuff like that. If you start to scratch him and you get real deep into his coat and you feel your fingers like that, it's gonna almost feel like you put lotion on. And that's because of the oil that comes from their body called lanolin. And that lanolin's used in a lot of different products, lotion, hair care products, any type of conditioning product. The way they get it from them is when they shear their wool, it's all stuck on the under, under parts of their, their wool and they actually scorch the wool. So they'll dip that fleece in a hot, hot vat of water. All of the oil floats to the surface and then they have to actually render it and clean it in order to use it in product. Sheep are actually born with a tail, believe it or not. Um, but they dock them when they're younger, and that's not for any type of breeding thing. It's actually because if they have a tail right here, as they go to the bathroom, their feces get stuck to it, and then it attracts flies, and flies lay maggots there. So they dock their tails in order to keep that from happening. They also call these guys the smiling South Down sheep, because if you look at him head on, he looks like he's always got a pretty nice little smile. And like most herd animals, I don't know if you guys are aware that their pupils are actually different than ours. They're centered horizontally in their eye. And if you ever go across a pack of herd animals, you're gonna notice if they're laying in a field and resting, they're all facing different directions. And the way their pupils are made is it so they see along the horizon very well for predators. So whether it's horses, goats, sheep, llama, um, they all have those same type of herd style eyes to help keep, watch out for one another. Well, thanks for joining us today. Rodney had a good time, I'm sure. He loves to get his treats. And come back and join us again and check out what other things we have going on on the farm.